right, who's ready for another tier list? Oh, okay, 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 screw you guys. Okay, I'm doing it anyway. First up, we got Abomination, right? He's kind of cool. He's a strong guy. He's a good fighter, sort of, but he's kind of like the Hulk, but he's all wrinkly, and I don't really like that. Wrinkly, wrinkly villains are the worst kind of villains. Everyone knows that. I'm gonna put him down in D. Then we got this guy. I'm um, kind of Mandarin, but not really the Mandarin. Kind of a bland villain, if you ask me. Honestly, throw him in D also. Then we got Alexander Pierce, you know? Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. He's like kind of the leader of Hydra, I think, right? I, I can't really remember that. We're starting this list off weak. I'm, I'm putting him in D also. Then we got the Chitari. Je it's actually just this one Chitari warrior. It's not the whole army. It's just this guy. I think his name's uh, Daniel. And Daniel, while he does have a really good backstory, his mom actually tragically died from, uh, from some kind of sickness. It was really sad. Besides that, Daniel's character, he only has this one line. He's only in this one frame of the movie. Not, don't really like him that much. Put him in D. Then we got this guy. Um... One of Thanos's, one of Thanos's boys, one of the, one of the people in the squad. You know, he's always just hanging out, vibing. I think this is the guy that like throws that spear at Cap and he catches it. Yeah, uh, guys, what the heck? Put him in D also, man. What, what, what you doing, Marvel? Then we got Dormammu. Honestly, I was a little disappointed with Dormammu because he's pretty cool in all the comics and stuff, and then he's kind of reduced to this one joke in Doctor Strange. Put him in D also. Like this list is suck. And then we got this guy. His name's like. Ebony Ma, I think. It sounds like a porn star's name, but we're just gonna ignore that. This guy is definitely the most interesting of all Thanos' boys. He does kind of look like a Squidward-Voldemort hybrid, but he is definitely the most interesting. I'll put him in C. Then we got Ego, right? Kurt Russell, a solid villain, right? He's, he's not special. He's not anything phenomenal or anything like that, but he is the best villain we've done so far on this tier list. I'm gonna put him in I'll put him in B. Then we got Ghost, a kind of generic villain, a kind of a bland villain. I do sympathize with her a little bit, just just a little bit though, let's not get crazy, okay? I'll put her in C also. Check out Hella Villain Review if you haven't yet. She's pretty solid though, I'll put her in B. Then we got this guy, I think his name's uh, Justin Hammer. Again, a porn star name, but we're gonna move on from that. I really like Sam Rockwell as an actor, so maybe I'm a little biased. He's only in this one movie, but he has a solid amount of personality, a villain who personality wise can kind of compete with tony stark i mean obviously he's not as good but he tries his he tries his best and i respect that i'll put him in c then we got ironmonger the big bad boy that kicked it all off again he, he's not as bad as all the people who we start off the list with but again he's not special i'll put him in c also then we got vulture i actually really like vulture shout out to spider-man and all his bad boys put that man in a i mean he, he's pretty good then we got Cassilius. Shout out to Mads Mikkelsen. Love Mads Mikkelsen, but Cassilius, he's kind of whatever. Put him in C. Then we got Killmonger, a fantastic villain, right? Michael B. Jordan and Ryan Coogler, they are a dynamic duo that will never be stopped. I wouldn't be surprised if we see him in Black Panther 2. Call me crazy, put him in S. Then we got Andy Serkis. Um, I forget what this character's name is, but... We're just going to go with Andy Serkis. Andy Serkis is a phenomenal actor, so just for that alone, I'm going to put him in B. Then we got Loki. I really like Loki. Is he even a villain, really, at this point? I mean, he kind of is, but I feel like he spent just as much time as a hero. But, I mean, I guess he started off, and he's Avengers and stuff. Put him in A. Then we got Fake Mandarin. Yeah, I don't know. He's got, he's got a few cool speeches, I guess, but besides that, he kind of just, he's kind of weird. Um... Put him in D. Then we got Thanos' boy, who is big, right? Thanos, he, he has a whole squad, right? You got smart guy, you got spear guy, and of course you need big guy, because someone has to fight the Hulk. In this case, someone needs to fight the Hulkbuster suit. So that is literally this one guy's purpose, because every squad of villains needs a big guy. Besides that, though, he sucks. Put him in D. Then we got her. Okay, so here's the thing about Thanos' squad, right? You got smart guy, you got big boy, you got spear guy, but they also need a girl because Thanos isn't sexist, so they need a girl, female warrior to fight Black Widow, right? Because I guess that's how we have to do that. Yeah, besides that, not special D. Red Skull, my favorite villain in the MCU. C. Then we got Ronan, definitely the low point of Guardians of the Galaxy as a movie. He, he kind of just betrays Thanos, and he's blue, so you have to take that into account also. D. Then we got this guy, um, Walter Goggins. He has a little building in his lap. Eh, I, I don't remember him at all. D. Then we got the Golden Goose, right? If White Privilege was a character, I feel like it's her. Like, I know she's yellow, but that's kind of just how she acts. She acts all kind of snobby and weird. I don't like her, D. Then we got this girl from Captain Marvel. Uh, honestly, who cares about anything from Captain Marvel? I mean, Nick Fury was cool, and I like Coulson, but that whole movie was... 
I don't know. Put her in D. Uh, Suter, Surter, I think his name is. Uh, um, Chipotle. I, I don't know. But I like him. He's kind of cool. He's only in it for a little bit, but he serves his purpose. You know, he he gives us a cool intro scene. He comes back at the end and he kills Hella. He's all right. Put him in C. Then we got um, I think his name's like Ass Face or something like that. Oh, Taser Face. That's what his face. That's what his name is. Um, yeah, he's kind of funny. He's not in the he's not in the movie that much, but he's funny. Again, he serves his purpose. Put him in C. Then we got Thanos, the big bad boy of the whole MCU. Great villain. One of the best villains probably ever. Put him in S. Then we got this guy. Get off my screen. Get out of here. I don't want to talk about you. No. Then we got Ultron. And here's the thing about Ultron. He's pretty cool. Put him in B. Then we got Whiplash. And here's the thing about Whiplash. He has a bird. So based off of that alone, I'm going to put him down in D. Then we got the Winter Soldier, right? Bucky boy. Yeah, he's he's cool, I guess. Um, again, is he even a villain? Not really, but I mean, I did enjoy him when he was a villain. I, I, I ain't even going to lie. We'll put him in B. Then we got Evil Ant-Man because he's Evil Ant-Man. Put him in D. Then we got Jude Law. Um, I think his name's like like Rog or something like that. Something, something Rog. Bland villain, guys. Put him in D. Then we got Zemo. I like Zemo. His plan's kind of confusing, but I like him as a character. Everything else about him, pretty cool. He's got some sick moves. Put him in A. Real quick, this list forgot two people, so I gotta say them. Agatha Harkness. She she likes hanging out. She's kind of interesting. I don't know, see, then we got, uh, Jake, uh, Jake Gosling, I think that's his name, or, um, Magneto, or Mysterio, yeah, no, Mysterio's his name, I like him too, not as good as Vulture, but he's cool, put him in B, that's the list, cool, bye. <laughs>